Hi everybody, excited to be with you today. I'm Janet Harley, host for Faith in an Ever-Changing World, Encouragement and Hope. And I am, it is my pleasure to have with me today, Rob Shepard. And Rob is a pastor and author. And thank you, Rob, for being my guest today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's yes, an honor. Yes, good to have you have you with me. And right after our uh, introduction, uh, then we will be back and we'll hear more from Rob Shepard. Stay with us. All right, and we are back. Rob, if you will, uh, please share with us what has God given you to do in this season and how is faith helping you do it? Yeah, well, thank you again for having me on, on your show. This, yes, it's, absolutely. It's an honor for, for me. Uh, you know, this for me, it all started in uh, 2020 when the pandemic hits and, and the world shuts down. Yeah. Um, I saw just a lot of people who had more time on their hands and were at home. And it seemed like, uh, especially those in the faith community in, in, in churches, were spending a lot more time um, either reading or watching uh, political news channels. And um, all of a sudden, you know, it felt like uh, the offense ramped up. We've always had offense in our world. We've always had people get offended. Yeah. Um, but I found... Christians were just really drawing lines and, uh, and, and being pretty ugly to each other. And so, you know, it became a very unsafe place to be that if you would post something, if it didn't line up with their exact political leaning, they would blast you and just let, and let yeah. you know it. And, uh, and this was happening by, you know, good people they go to church, they say they love Jesus, but uh, it just was happening a lot. And then uh, you know, in 2021, um, I met with, uh, it was a few different people who literally had left uh, churches because the way they saw Christians treating um, other people online. And they just said, you know, if that's the way that people of faith are going to treat one another, I don't want anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. So here I am as a pastor, and I'm like, so what do I do with this? Like, how do I help people um, to see that, like, okay— what you're mad about, what you're offended about, that may be worth being offended, but the way that you're handling it is actually pushing people away, right. and it's not having the effect that, that you want. And so, um, I don't know if I, I don't, I definitely don't think I'm the most qualified to help people with this, but I just saw a need and I just said, okay, God, if, if you'll use me, I want to try to help people learn how to. Uh, get offended less to change the world more. I want to try to help people know, okay, when you get offended, here's some things you can do, practical things you can do to uh, help get your message out without pushing people uh, away. Yes, yes. Uh, that That's wonderful and so much needed uh, then and now. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. So that's a, that's a blessing. That really is. Um, tell us about um, uh, your books. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I've written uh, four four books, and ah. uh, the first one uh, was, uh, it's my oldest book, and so it is a little bit dated, uh, but the first one is called Even If You Were Perfect, Someone Would Crucify You, and it's about learning to be less of a people pleaser, uh, and, ah. and mm. that book really started, uh, it started early on uh, in my uh, pastoring uh, life. Uh, I got an anonymous letter, and back then, I didn't know that I should read anonymous letters. I just saw someone wrote me a letter. I was like, oh, they took the time to write. <laughs> Let me read this thing. Uh, but it was anonymous, and it was it was four pages of just completely destroying my sermon. Just uh, they hated oh, everything about it, um, and it was just it was a pretty ugly ugly letter. Oh. And um, I, I I read it. It, it. it shocked me, and then I read it four times. And on mm. the fourth reading, I just had this this still small voice say to me. Even if you preached a perfect sermon, someone would crucify you. And that yeah. little phrase, it yeah. brought me such freedom. I balled up the letter, I threw it away, and I didn't think about it again. Because the truth is, is I know that sermon wasn't perfect, but it wasn't nearly as bad as, as this person was making it out to be. Right. Right. And I didn't even know who they were. They didn't even have the courage to let me know who they are. So 
I was allowing an, an unnamed person to define me, and that just it, it was it was it was wasting time and, and wasting uh, you know energy in yeah. my day. And so that that's what the first book is is about. The second book uh, is titled "You Misspelled Christian." And uh, it's really uh, geared towards um, helping Christians really live out their faith. It's it's a it's a thicker book, but it's a very practical read to mm-hmm. how do we live out our faith and how do we bring heaven to earth. Um, and so that's that's really the idea of uh, of that. And then the third book is called uh, "Kill the Jerk," and uh, this it's a little shocking of, of a title. Uh, but yeah, kill it, the jerk. <laughs> kill the jerk. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, the subtitle is a nonviolent way towards healthy relationships. So I try to let people know oh. I don't really want you to kill anyone. Uh, yeah, but the, I, the idea uh, really comes from the fact that um, relationships are tough and relationships yeah. are tricky. And often when they start to fall apart, we look at the other person and we say, well, they're the reason to blame. They're the issue. Mm. But the truth is, is every breakdown in a relationship, I play a part in it. And so until I allow Jesus to kill the jerk that I have inside of me, I'll struggle with relationships. And so it's really a book for anyone, whether you're single, married, um, any relationship at all. It's a practical guide to have healthy relationships. And then uh, my fourth book, which just came out uh, on on April uh, 10th, is uh, called um, When Offense Knocks. And it's about uh, becoming offended less to change the world more. Okay, becoming offended when what? Uh, what was yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Um, get offended less to change the world more. To change the world more. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yes. Wow, those are uh, great. I love the titles. Yeah, uh, <laughs> certainly eye catching and uh, and all, but but what they're about. Wow, that is that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, so uh, I see that you are uh, very popular on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> One hundred and fifty-seven thousand followers. Yeah. Wow. Six point seven million likes. And multiple viral videos. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is unreal. That is unreal. Gracious. Yeah. You are certainly a, a, a media influencer as well, sounds oh. like. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I do love social media. Social media does bring a lot of conf, uh, conflict. There's a lot of, you have to deal with the haters and the yeah. trolls and you have to yeah. deal with all that. Um, but I just feel like if, if, if all the Christians get off social media there is no one else being a positive light and so i would rather deal with the difficult stuff but point people to jesus and so um i think that in you know in jesus's day uh people gathered around wells um or like marketplaces and today we got to ask where are the wells at where are people gathering well they're gathering on social media they're already there so yeah. There is a lot of there is a lot of bad that comes with social media, but there can also be good. And so I want to try to be a positive voice to create clean content that ultimately points people back to God. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you're doing an outstanding job. Oh, well, thank an you. Outstanding job with that. And uh, thank you so much, Rob, for coming and sharing uh, with us these words today and about your books as well. Uh, let's see. I want to put up your information gracious your newest book uh on that website and then uh on tiktok it's at rob shep that's it and then of course you're on facebook yep. and instagram as well that's right so uh if anyone wants to get it get in touch with rob please uh note these and i'll also put the this information in the comment section uh, as well so people can just click on that link and get in touch with you, Rob. Yes. Great. Thank you so much. Yes, you are so welcome. And thank you for joining me, Rob. Appreciate it so much. And thank you all for watching. And I do want to mention Abundant TV and uh, Creative Motion Network. Uh, Both networks are just great for you and your families. Thank you again for watching. Have faith. And look up, friends, where our help comes from. Bye. God bless.